Well, Matt, I did it. I've done the run walk and I've done the run and compared the two. Run walk. Yeah. I've read about it. Yeah. Okay. I know it made quite a stir. Yeah. Here in no, New I got Zealand. a lot of following. Yeah, it's really interesting actually. So yeah, the run walk. Well, it's as it sounds. I uh, um, sort of came up with a nineteen and one protocol. So Jeff Galloway came up with run walk years and years and years ago, and why it has never really caught on is people don't believe it's faster or that fast people can do it. So I thought, why not try and run sub 240, which is a pretty hefty time, um, and do the run walk. So I did 19-1. and I uh, did it at the Hawke's Bay Marathon. Why 19-1? and uh, So like Jeff Galloway has sort of said for faster guys around my speed, you're looking at 6 minutes 30 and 30 seconds recovery. And that's just, for me, that's too short. I think 19-1, you, you are allowing yourself to definitely get a good momentum in running but then in walking you are you for a minute you're also allowing yourself a good amount of recovery and i used the aid station so it wasn't exactly 19 minutes like i was doing aid stations for every 5ks um so it allows me to then get a drink in absorb the nutrition that's in there the carbohydrate the fluid reset myself um recruit different muscles for a long duration and then hit back into the running Part so, of it. so when you're walking, how fast are you walking? Are you just so it's, it's not off? no, it's not a casual. It's a brisk walk, and my splits were showing around seven and a half minute k's. So uh, I think that's probably around eight kilometers an hour. So how much lower did your heart rate go when you were doing that? Uh, well, the thing is, I don't like running with a heart rate monitor. Okay, so I have the Garmin two two five with the optical heart rate. I'm not trusting its accuracy, uh, so I don't really want to report. But in my trainings, when I was wearing a heart rate monitor, the reason I don't like it is it sort of falls down and it's just an unnecessary stress. Uh, and I don't use it for pacing, um, but in training, I don't mind so much. And it was getting down to around 120 from sitting in the early stages of, say, a 10K at race pace, um, going up to 165, then dropping down to 120, 130. So, so you did run walk at one marathon, and then a few yep. weeks later you followed it up. Yeah. And what did you do with, with that? With the one? run, so Hawkes Bay and Wellington are the two races I chose. They're both flat. Um, the conditions are normally the same. However, so Wellington, yeah, I ran start to finish, uh, and I went two forty three eighteen official time. Official time for Hawkes Bay was two forty five. 52 or 58 something around there so anyway it was yeah it was about um two and a half minutes faster so running running was faster yeah uh however if we look into it wellington was really good conditions we it was pristine not a lot of wind starting off anyway um and whereas hawks bay is point to point which mm -hmm. means we essentially ran into a headwind the whole way um and in this blog that i've written on performanceadvantage.co.nz forward slash blogs, uh, link in the description below, I show you my splits and you see they're a lot slower, but then we get to the end, last six Ks, uh, I really struggled in the Wellington. That's the running, point to point, ran the whole way and really struggled, whereas I had one of the fastest, if not the fastest split over the last five Ks of the other one, and that's where I moved from fourth into second. Um, nice. And I had the legs. I I really I dropped it below 19 minutes for the last 5k, whereas I was dropping you know under 19 minutes for all of them, um, for almost all of my 5k splits in the running one, but then the last one it was over well it was pretty much flat 20 minutes. So I dropped a minute, mm. you know. Yeah. Um, so then when we're looking at yeah running versus run walking, the thing I I wanted to do is I think it's about the same. If you take into account the conditions and everything, I think that the results are about the same. Um, and what I want to show people in this is that the run walk isn't going to make you faster than your abilities. It is a fail safe. Okay, so if you're someone who always runs too hard, which the majority of people do, or if you're someone who's like, um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to pace this. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to go out too hard. Walking is going to slow you down. It's going to reset the batteries. It's going to reset your mind going, 
hey, wait a minute, I'm breathing too hard. Look at my heart rate, um, look at whatever. Yeah. So anyway, that's pretty much the summary of the run walk. Sweet. I think it's the same. Go out and do it. I think it's a lot safer um, than I'm really good at pacing and I still had to slow down. Uh, I was forced to slow down due to overexertion. So cool. yeah, run cool, walk guys. for the win. Check out the blog, subscribe. Yeah, that, that definitely sung around here. I think it's above your head and above my head and then some videos down around here. Sweet.